What is up everybody, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel, anybody, any new viewers, uh, welcome to the channel. If you are vibing with these messages that we have over here, you wanna be a part of the fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the reading, go ahead and like the, the video and also uh, comment down in the comment section if this resonated with you as well. Yo, you guys, it's been a minute, okay? And it's uh, we're about due for another evil eye reading. So we're gonna be seeing who out there is jealous of you, envious of you, hating on you, sending you the evil eye, doing uh, black magic, uh, trying to stop you. I'm hearing for somebody trying to stop your bag, okay? Um, this person could be doing obia, santeria, brujeria, anything, you know? Um, yeah, it's just a, a, a raggedy ass hater, period. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be uh, delving into that. I'm gonna be using this private eye deck right here to uh, get some clues on seeing who that person could be. And then I'm gonna use the evil eye deck to see what they could possibly possibly be throwing your way. Y'all know how we do over here with these readings and I'm gonna hit you up with some uh, advice um, going forward as well. We may also delve into some areas of your life where they um, were trying to uh, stunt, but it's still coming through anyways, you feel me? Um, <laughs> so you guys, we're gonna be having three different groups today. And keep in mind, y'all, this is this is um, a general reading. It is not uh, a private reading, so it may not resonate with every single person that watches the, the reading. If one group doesn't resonate, choose a di different pile, you feel me? So yeah, group number one is gonna be represented by the green candle. Group number two is a purple candle. Group number three is a magenta candle. All right, y'all can pause the video uh, to see which one of these colors you resonate with the most. And then we're gonna go ahead and go from there. Let's go ahead and start with group number one, the green candle. All right, T, if you selected the green candle, this is gonna be your reading. We're gonna be seeing who has is sending you the evil eye, sending you bad vibes and whatnot, you know? Um, yeah, I wanna go on the record and tell you guys, just because you've, um, like done a spiritual cleanse last month or whatever for some somebody uh, has thrown towards you it does not mean that they ain't gonna do it again because motherfuckers is crazy out here they're weird and some people are very very relentless they're gonna keep doing whatever they gotta do to get whatever they they feel like they need to get off you know their chest i don't know shit whatever grudge they have for you but let's see but group, group number one let's see give us some clues as to who this person might be yeah, I'm using the uh, private eye. This is called the private eye deck, okay? <clears throat> Let's see, who is this person? Who is, who is, who is sending the evil eye to my group number one, please? Which weirdo is sending the evil eye to my group number one? Y'all gotta pardon me, I'm a little tired right now, but y'all know I'm gonna come with a motherfucking fuego in this piece. So let's see what we got here for you guys. Okay. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got so far for you guys. Uh, we have nosy. This is somebody who's all in your business. Okay. This person might be this person might be watching you online too. And maybe asking other people about you too. I'm getting the whole vibe of somebody who, if they can't get it directly from you. That then they're asking people about you. Oh, what what is such and such doing? Well, how they how they get this? How they getting that? I'm, I'm feeling the vibe of somebody watching you, um, accomplish things, obtain things, achieve things, and then they're asking people how you did it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like they're questioning your methods. Okay, throwing this ain't nothing but like you know what do you call it? Shade or you know they just throwing hate hatred towards you because it's like. They don't want you to level up. They don't want you to have what they don't have, you know? You know that whole saying is like, I don't mind you being successful as long as you ain't as successful as I am. That's the whole vibe that I'm getting. And this person is all in your business, okay? This mofo is nosy as hell. We got a pretender. This person is not who they claim and say they are, okay? They're wearing a whole mask. They're not true to the game. They, well, whoever they, whatever... I'm getting a representative for this person. This person just shows a representative and they don't really show who they truly, truly are. Do you down inside? Okay. This person may have come off. If 
this if you came across this person this person will come off to you as if they're your friend you know as if they got your back as if you know what I'm saying? It's all cool between you guys, but when it's not that, you know, and, I, and, and I'm getting the whole vibe of somebody who's like a, a clout chaser, you know, somebody who wants to be famous, somebody who wants to be known, heard, seen, you know, but they don't really have it in them like that, you know, and some of you guys have this sort of aura about yourself that, that draws people to you and they don't like that. They want to have that too. It's kind of like they feel like, okay, well, I'm going to hang around X, Y, Z and I'm going to pull off. Pull off their energy, you know. I'm gonna get that energy from them, or, or I'm gonna learn their secrets. Like, bitch, this these things are just like your God given gives. us how you naturally are. You're not out here trying to be anybody that you're not. You're just being yourself, and that's in the chips fall where they fall. You feel me? A best friend for some of y'all. This is y'all best friend or somebody who you think is your best friend. Okay, but we see they ain't really that your best friend of me. Mental. This person got mental issues. This person, this person. Why did I get coconut? What does coconut means here? Coconut. This might be also. I know this is strange, but this might be somebody who. Y'all know the word whitewashed. You know what I'm saying? They may be like an islander. They may be a person of color. They could be a black person. They could be Asian or whatever. But they really try to like. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. They they trying to act a certain kind of way, a stereotypical kind of way that's not true to them, you know, and their upbringing or their fuck it, whatever. This person, um, y'all, those of y'all, some of y'all already got y'all calculators down. You know what the hell I'm trying to say, but um, this person is not rap tight. Okay, they got the wrong idea about like going about life. They elevator. This mental, they elevated on go all the way to the top. You know, their 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 cake ain't cooked all the way. It's, it's raw in the middle. You know, it's not. You know, they're missing a few. You know, chromosomes. You know, they 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 missing something. When they shake their head, you know what I'm saying. Something rattles up in there, like some dice. You feel me? Like something is not. This person has. I'm I'm here to have a warped sense of reality, right? They don't, they don't, they don't deal with logic how normal people deal with logic. And I mean, normal with people who knows how to, you know, people who know, people who have a good grasp on reality, if I said that word right, but they have a good grasp on reality, you know, this person, not so much. This could be somebody y'all currently work with. This could be a coworker. This could be an old nasty conniving snake in the grass coworker who doesn't like you, doesn't like to see you getting shine, you know, at your job. If you do work online, if you're if you're a YouTuber or whatever like that too, they don't want to see you succeed or be better than them, you know? This person is probably, I feel like this person is also, for some of you guys, is dealing with old childhood wounds. They have they dealt with some traumatic events during their childhood and they don't know how to really love properly. They don't know how to they don't know how to This is that person who says, Oh, you my fam, oh, we're best friends, we're brothers and sisters, or we're sisters, we're brothers, and whatever the hell, you know, uh, you're my family, and da, da 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 but they don't really know how, they don't, they didn't come from a, a good family, so they don't know how to be family, you, you, you see what I'm, where I'm going with that, like, they don't, they could say it, they could want it, but deep down inside, they don't know how it really truly is to be in a healthy connection with another person person like to have a healthy friendship with somebody to have a healthy camaraderie with somebody to have a healthy relationship with somebody to have a healthy nothing with nobody they don't know how to do it you know so they can't give you that and ultimately they may have had this person could have come on the scene with good intentions but their mind is so bent their mind is so warped that they i'm hearing like they they, they mess everything up that they come across eventually you will fall out with this person, okay? Is that is giving me that kind of vibes? A gifter. This is somebody who they'll try to give you things, okay? They'll try to give you stuff like uh, present you with things. Maybe they might buy you some food, buy you little gifts or whatever. Do things for you, help being helpful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like going out of their way to do stuff for you, or whatever. But that's a whole facade because this person is a whole fucking pretender. They're not being real. They're not real. They're pretending. This is this is a whole game to them, you know? And this person likes to play games, too. That's how they get off, you know? And their warped reality, they think it's okay to, to play games on people who've done nothing to them. 
a whole weird. See what I said? Helpful. I just said helpful, and helpful came out. Yeah, this person comes up like they're trying to help you. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they could be the person who try to. Oh, let me help you take your groceries into the into the into the house. You know, or right, let me help you take your groceries to the car or whatever. Da da da, whatever. Oh, you need somebody to help you move? I can help you move. But all the while they're helping you move, they looking to see what you got, looking to see what you packing up, looking to see what you unpacking, looking to see where you live, surveying the whole. You know what I'm saying? Surveying the whole place, new place you living at, so they can go talk shit behind your back. Interference from lovers. For some of you guys, this is gonna be somebody who you were dating. Okay. For the ones who, this is not somebody you was dating, the people that they date interfere within your connection, okay? Somebody, if this is your best friend, somebody they dating might not like y'all being close to, to, together, okay? They might not like to share this person with you. Or they don't want them, they just don't want them to be, spend their time with you. They want to spend, they want them to spend their time with them, you feel me? But for those of you who are in a connection with this person, like a, uh, a relationship or whatever there were th this was third parties a third party was involved in this okay for some of you guys for the platonic people it could this could be your aunt okay this could be somebody who is close to their aunt okay this could be somebody who you have a past life connection with this is this is that person when you first meet them when, when you first meet them you're like I know you from somewhere. You know that whole kind of vibe? It's like I know you from somewhere, but I can't put my finger on it. I don't know how I know you or you remind me. This person might even remind you of your aunt or your uncle, you know? They may remind you of a family member if they aren't a family member, you know? They got that kind of vibe going on. Okay, rescue. This person comes in like they're trying to save you, you know? Like they're trying to save hell, save you from yourself. They flatter the hell out of you. They say, oh, you look good. Oh, you did good on this. Oh, you you the best this, you the best that, da 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But they pretending it's all a fucking facade. It's not real, boo. It is not real. You feel me? It's not real. So let's see what what, what they try to take from you or what they try to stop in your life. That's that they, they ain't going to be able to stop, okay? Confidence. They try to play at your confidence, okay? These are the people, I feel for some of you guys, they get in, they find out your weaknesses, and then they they, they, they play at it, you know? They actually, they, they poke at your, your weaknesses, say little slickful, sl slickful, say little slick remarks to you, you know what I'm saying? They eat at your confidence, you know? They don't want to see you confident. You guys may be very, very, like, proud, but in a good way. You know, you're confident, you stand up for yourself, and you go for what you want, and they don't like that, you know? They're not confident because they're dealing with mental issues. They're dealing with stuff that they ask should be going to get help for. It's that simple to start along the path of healing, go get some help. But there's a lot of people out here who wandering around that some of them don't got medical insurance, but some people, a lot of people do got medical insurance, but they don't use it for the mental health part. They act like they too cool for school when it comes to mental health. And then they want to run around here all jacked up in the head, all insane in the membrane, and terrorizing people walking around who's innocent, you know? It happens. This person don't want you to heal. They didn't want you to heal, but you guys are, are healing, okay? Whatever you've been through, if you've been through something with this person, this person put you through something, they try to damage your self-esteem. They try to damage your confidence, right? They didn't want, they wanted you, they wanted you to feel like you were unable to be loved. That's where they came in, the angle they came in on. But the opposite is happening, you know? You still have confidence. You shining bright like a diamond. You doing your thing. And you, you didn't let whatever they did to you stop you, you know? Or make you feel like you're less than. You know, you know your worth. And whatever you dealt with from the past, you heal from it and you move on or you're uh, healing from whatever went took place between you and this person. You're healing from it and you're moving on from it. That's what they can't stop, you know? Let's see what they may have tried to do to you guys in this group, okay? What did this retard try to do to my group number one, please? What did this idiot try to do to my group number one? Make it clear and concise, please. Public eye. Didn't I tell? Didn't I tell? Didn't I tell y'all asses? Didn't I tell you 
didn't I tell you that you guys, some of you guys may do something online, you know? You do something in the public eye. People are watching you. You guys may also have some sort of fame or some sort of notoriety or some sort of um, something that you do that you achieve and it's getting you more attention. It's getting you more, uh, your visibility is increasing and this person sees you online, right? It says you're being watched. This person is watching your ass. Who we, we already know that they knows is knows as hell. You're being watched by multiple people. Yeah. So this is a this is a vibe. Like I said, it could be your aunt. It could be this person. It could be that person. This is multiple people. This is not just one person with all this energy. These are multiple people. I hear hating on you for God knows what. Right? They're being watched and they don't like they they don't have your best interests at heart. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you level up. And this car just fell right on all. This mo this mofo fell right on the floor. Backfire. Anything that they've done to you or wished on you will backfire on them. Dark energy sent your way will be turned back on the sender. A whole fail attempt. So they can sit and make any kind of pact they want to make with the devil and with demons and conjuring up whatever the hell they want to conjure up. But it ain't gonna work. It's gonna backfire on that. See what we got? We got no. Yo, this is really, really coming through very, very, very strong. That they nosy as hell. Because look what we got: spying. This person is using. This person is spying on you through tarot readings as well, to try to to try to pry into to, to try to, to ooh to try to see what you're doing. See, I can't even talk right now. That throws chakra energy right there. You know. They don't want they don't want you to know that they spying on you like that. That they're actually out here getting tarot readings to try to find out your business because they nosy as hell. Some of these people is even paying tarot readers to find out about you because they nosy as hell. They're spending their hard earned money to be stupid and childish. This is somebody you got a soul tie with. We already know that it's a past life connection, okay? One of these people you got a soul tie with, you might have been romantically connected with whoever this person is. You are soul tied to someone and finding it hard to release this connection. If you've been thinking about somebody who you're no longer dealing with and you can't get them out of your mind, that's that mofo right there. That's them. If you want to, if you be like, I can't stand this heifer. I can't stand them. I can't stand their guts. I don't try to think about them. I blocked them. I've moved on, but they still pop into my head. That's them, okay? Y'all might need to do some core cutting rituals or whatever. That's them. Voodoo. Somebody is doing voodoo work to achieve something against you. They're trying to... Okay, what I'm picking up too is one of these people, they're trying to tarnish your reputation. They don't want people to see you in a positive light, okay? Like I told you, some of you guys are getting a lot of attention, okay? Whether it's on or offline, you shine and bright like a diamond, and a lot of people can see that. They're noticing some sort of change, some sort of glow up in you. Your confidence is increasing, and you have gone through some sort of healing, or you are going through that healing, and it's making, your, making you shine brighter, and they don't like it. How dare you do self-work on yourself? How dare you elevate yourself? That's what they're saying. Power transferring. Okay. You have either given up your personal power or someone has taken it from you. Okay. Remember, didn't I tell y'all before or earlier that someone was trying to, you are glowing up. You got something about yourself that is natural within you. Okay. Some of you guys are also able to heal yourself just like that or, or, or get into that. The um, get it moving into that direction really, really fast. Okay, you have that effect on other people too. Other people may be drawn to you as well. You may find that people, you you guys may be empaths as well. You may find that people just gravitate towards you and tell you all their business, you know. And this person knows that, and they envy that about you, and they want to have that same sort of ability that you have. But like I said, this is it's a natural God given ability. You can't buy that. You can't you can't read a book. And get that. It doesn't work like that. Either you got it or you don't. We got three more for y'all. I was going to stop uh, 
shuffling, but I don't know why the hell I'm still shuffling, but it's probably meant for you guys, okay? Submission magic. Someone wants you to submit to them and allow them to have their way with you. Okay. Withdrawal. You're moving on past those who have issues with you. It no longer matters to you. Hell yeah, because you're healing and you're moving on past these idiots. You're moving on past them, and you are standing in your power, standing within in your confidence. And you're not letting none of this stop you, okay? And that's what they don't like either. And that's why they're trying to spiritually attack you. Someone is trying to attack you spiritually to block your third eye and ability to manifest. You, you guys are leveling up, and they can see that, and they don't want you to level up. People are so freaking weird, and they don't realize the fact that it's enough of abundance for everybody to receive however much abundance that they want to receive. Shit, if, just because I'm abundant don't mean it's going to stop you from being abundant. People are so freaking weird out here, man. So fucking weird. Like, they don't realize it's like, I'm not going, I can't stop your blessings for you, and you can't stop mine. Period. It is what it is. Let's get some energy here from the Sage Oracle. What do you, what does my group number one need to know right now? Besides this idiot is a whole ass hat. What does my group number one need to know right now? Need to hear, need to work on. We got compassion. Spirit is telling y'all. It says we are all in this together to have more compassion. So I'm here first and foremost, have more compassion for yourself. And then have compassion for these idiots too. And I'm not telling you to subject yourself to them and have yourself, you know, and, and let them do whatever they're gonna do negatively towards you. Spirit is saying, have compassion to these to these idiots. They're lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Don't get yourself, don't get your panties in a bunch. What the hell? Don't get yourself all worked up over these fools out here. Cause a lot of these people, they don't realize what they're doing, you know? They they too. I'm sorry, you guys. It is what it is. They're too fucking dumb to realize and, and know uh, that the energy they're putting out there is going to come back on them. That's what I'm picking up, too. They're too dumb. They don't They don't realize what they're doing. Look, show your spirit telling you to show your ass and be unapologetic. Don't let these people stop you. Keep doing your thing. Keep shining. Keep glowing up. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep shining. You know? Uh, what's meant for you is going to happen for you regardless. You know, these people ain't going to stop nothing, you know. Keep being confident, you know. Keep being, keep uh, showing people that you that you have self-worth, you know what I'm saying. That you appreciate yourself, that you respect yourself, and that you love yourself, okay. Forget what these people are talking about, thinking about, and what they're doing behind the scenes. That's not what's important. What's important is that you... Be authentically yourself and don't let nobody stop you from being who you are because I feel that 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 is your way to elevating yourself even further and to glowing up even further is you are standing in your power and you following your heart and you being your true and authentic self but there's going to be people around you who's going to try to make you feel like you shouldn't do that and that you shouldn't pursue a certain thing or that you shouldn't act a certain way or be a certain way or whatever Y'all know what I say to stuff like that. Fuck them. Live your life. Live your best life as long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else, okay? So that's what I got for you guys for group number one. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And if this resonated, comment down in the comment section, okay? I'm going to move on to group number two. Ciao. All right, if you selected group number uh, two, the pink, pink. What the fuck? This is purple. This is purple, not pink. The purple candle. This is going to be a reading. We're going to see who has an evil eye, who's sending you the evil eye, sending you negative energy, hating on you, being a loser, a loser, being a fucking doofus. We're going to see who that is out here. Who is hating on my group number two, please? Who is sending bad energy and trying to stop my group? Ooh, damn. What the? Okay, I'm going to take this cluster. Who's hating on my group number two, please? Who is hating on my group number two? Y'all, I feel you guys, y'all got something special about you. Just like group number one. You got something special about special about you that draws people to you, okay? And no matter what you do, no matter how you do it, how you say it or whatever, there's always going to be somebody that hates you. So be unapologetically yourself. I'm going to pull this, this same thing as what group number one got. 
I'm going to show y'all this. It says, show your ass and be unapologetic. It doesn't matter what anybody else says or what they feel because their, their opinion is irrelevant in your life if you're living within your true expression of yourself. They want to stop you. They don't want you to be great. But who cares? It ain't their life to live. You live your best life, okay? And keep doing you. This is somebody. Okay. Right off the bat, I'm going to throw it out there. I'm getting the vibes. You got multiple multiple people. Just like group number one, have multiple people. It's not just one single person. But one of these mofos out here try to get you. They either had you in a friends with benefits situation, tearing that thing up, you know, or... They wanted to put you in this type of situation and approach you like that, but you didn't want that from them. You know what I'm saying? Like you wasn't you wasn't on that vibe with them. You know, you wasn't that that's not you, you know? For some of y'all, that was you and you was, you know, getting busy and then yeah, you might have cut it off, you know? This is somebody who kept you guys stagnant. They may have kept you waiting, okay? This is giving me the whole vibe, okay? If you guys were not in a relationship with this person or connection or even physical with this person, either way, this is somebody that kept you waiting, okay? They didn't take you seriously. They just, I'm, I'm hearing they just saw you as a piece of ass if you were dating this person or you had a crush on this person or you two were talking. If you were, some of y'all were in a full relationship or connection or whatever the hell with this person, but this person did not see you beyond sex, okay? I mean, I hate to say it, but... Y'all see it. It is what it is. I'm too tired to be sugar. I am not. Well, hell, I ain't going. I ain't. I don't give a fuck if I'm tired or not. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing over here. Y'all know how I do over here. A Leo. This person have Leo in their chart. They don't necessarily have to have it there. Taurus. They can have Taurus in their chart as well. That's what I'm, t I'm telling y'all. There's more than one person here. One. Some of y'all, this is somebody who you don't know. And I feel that even for the person, if you dated this person, whatever, whatever, whatever the hell it was, this is somebody who you didn't truly know deep down inside because they didn't allow you to know them, right? They kept it superficial. They kept the surface level. They controlled, they manipulated the situation to a T. They kept, they directed the energy and where the, uh, the, the connection was going, you know? They controlled the whole narrative of the, the relationship or connection or whatever the hell it was. And a lot of you guys don't even know who this person is. I mean, for some of you guys, this person is wilding out in these streets. They're very, very wild, you know, and they may not have wanted to show that to you, you know, because you may carry yourself a little different than they do, you know. I'm, I'm hearing that you guys were not equally yoked. Whoever you vibing with on this in this pile, these people are not on your same wavelength, you know. You guys are on two different two different pages, two not two different pages, probably two different books around this piece, okay. For some of you guys, this is people who don't even know you. These are people who don't even know you, never interact with you, never, y'all ain't never ate chicken wings on a park bench together, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never had a drink together, you know? You ain't never went ice skating together. You never did nothing together with this person, you know? Y'all never fist bumped together, nothing. You never did nothing, and this person just don't like you, you know, just because of who you are, just because of how you're vibing, you know? This person is a whole demon. I'm getting that you guys are, um, there's people there's demonic people who are possessed by demonic entities, not to scare nobody. It is what it is. I'm a, I'm just telling to you how it is. People who are possessed by demonic entities or who let de demonic entities or dark entities use them to carry out their bidding, that you got people like that watching you, okay? Enemy. See, your whole enemy out here. See what I said? See what I said? Look at look what we got. Is it? Was, yo. Yo. Throw chakra. Throw chakra. Throw chakra. This person wants to silence you. They want you to shut the fuck up. They don't want you to talk. And I resonate with group number two. And I know people want me to shut the fuck up, but I ain't going to shut up. I ain't going to shut up. I'm going to keep talking. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep talking louder and I'm going to keep talking longer. Who going to stop me, boo? Who going to stop me? Nobody. This is your whole enemy out here, okay? This person does not have your best interests at heart. They want to silence you. They want you to stop being real. They want you to stop glowing up. They want you to stop progressing. My thing is, who the hell are you to stop anybody? Live your own miserable life and leave everybody else alone. Leave people alone. And I, I'm, I'm hearing that for a lot of you guys. You haven't even done anything to these people. These people are so weird. They're just a waste of skin. Yeah, I said it. And I meant that. Because my thing is, 
you were born on this earth. You mean to tell me like you were just born on this earth to be a hater? You were just born on this earth to tear other people down? That's a waste of skin. I don't care how nobody remix it, how they say it. You might think I'm being too mean or too harsh. I don't give a f I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care what you think or how you feel about what I said. If I said it's a waste of skin, it's a waste of skin, a waste of chicken skin. Transportation. This might be somebody who lives at a distance from you. For some of you guys, it's somebody that who lives in another country, lives in another state, lives in another city. They may watch you online. If you do what I do, they may be watching you, having eyes on you. These are people who are envious of you. They don't. You ain't do nothing to them. They just don't like you, boo-boo. They don't like you, period. Just because. That's why. Just because. Financial issues. They got financial issues out here. My thing is, if your ass was less worried about what the hell I was doing over here and less focus on hating on us over here in group number two, maybe your ass can get your money together. Maybe you can go out there, fill out a few applications. Maybe you can do a couple of resumes, send some resumes and go on some interviews and get your bread up. But nah, you'd rather waste your time and hate on motherfuckers who've done nothing to you. A waste of skin. Intuitive. This is somebody who does not like the fact that you use your intuition to help people. Okay? I feel that this is this is something that this person lacks. Okay? Because if they weren't intuitive, they wouldn't be out here being a whole hater. They would know how to create the life that they wanted to create. Or at least get, get on the right path. So they won't be focusing on the stu stupid stuff. When you're into it, using your intuition and vibing like that is raising your energy too, you know? The lower you go, the more you get disconnected. The fuck? Spying. This person is spying on you. They're watching you. They're trying to find information out on you. How you do what you do, you know? How are you? How, how do you know this stuff? How do you? How are you glowing? Why are people interested in you? Why are they interested in you? Why are they all up in your business? Why they can't find a life. Why they can't go get a job and make some money and take care of these financial issues and stop worrying about dumb shit. Yeah. What's up? What's up with that? Let's talk about it. What's up? Let's talk about why you let's talk about why you broke out here. Let's talk about that and why you broke and you hating on somebody. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why you're using your energy on negativity instead of using your energy. From healing your pockets. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. That's what's most important. For some of y'all, this is a male. Doesn't necessarily have to be, it could be a female too, but it's somebody that has a lot of masculine energy. That means that they're aggressive. They don't know how to stay in their lane. They be doing the most. Talking a lot of shit. Yeah, one of those kind of people. They focus on the wrong stuff, you know? Focus on everybody else, everything else. It said it, when they when their whole bank account is in shambles. Oh, so sad. Oh, oh. Transformation. This person might need to go through a transformation, or they may have been gone, may have gone through a transformation. Or mm, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. They see you glowing up, and you're going through a transformation, and they don't like it. Peep that. They don't like that you're going through a transformation. But my thing is that. It's your life. You know what I'm saying? They can't stop you from progressing in your life. That's why they broke now. That's why they broke. And no offense to nobody who's out there who's, you know, who's going through a little struggle. It's only temporary and you're going to get your ass out there and you're going to get you another job. And you're going to not be, you know, financially challenged. That's life. We all go through ups and downs in life. But I'm spe specifically speaking on this hater. Who's wasting time hating on other people when they could be channeling that energy trying to get their bag? Yeah. A waste of skin. Yeah. Some of y'all they try to they come off like they're your friend, okay? But this this hoe ain't none of your friend. This hoe ain't your friend, okay? We see that. This hoe ain't your friend, they hating on you. They feel that you gain getting more money than them, you know? It's somebody from your past. You might you might have started talking to this person already. 
if you have kudos to you, okay? You don't need no waste of skin hanging around you, trying to bring your energy down, trying to create, trying to, trying to, they done dealt with the whole series of unfortunate events. What's that lickety, what's that damn movie? Lick, lickety splickets, lemony splickets, whatever the hell. Series of unfortunate, unfortunate events. Yeah, they done went through all of that. And now they're trying to bring you down too when you ain't even on that kind of stuff. Like, oh damn, I'm I'm already jumping to the. I'm I was gonna pull what they try to stop and it didn't work. Let's pull what they try to stop first. See, they trying to get me. They trying to throw me off. Yo, ass, your hating ass is trying to throw me off, but it's not gonna work. Mm -mm. Spirit God, yep. They know that you connected. They know that you're highly intuitive and you saw right through them, through, through they broke. Let me stop saying that. God forgive me. Y'all know I don't mean nothing by that, but hey, it is what it is. You wouldn't be so broke if you wasn't around here hating, wasting your energy hating on people. That you were in touch, your spirit guides protect you. Your spirit guides guide you, you know? And they know that through that and through your intuition that you can see right through them. And they don't like that spiritual connection that you have with your guides, with your spirit team. They don't like that. And my thing is, boo fucking who? Who cares that what you don't like? Nobody around here in this area cares what you don't like, okay? We all have issues that, and problems and obstacles that we got to go through in life. Just because you going through something don't mean you got to bring everybody else down on top of the shit that they're already going through. You know, you pe that's what I'm saying. People, people out here, they don't know what people be going through in their day to day life. They just see the, the strength. They see your strength and that you holding it together. And then they and then they and they think that, oh, this person lives a perfect life when life is not perfect for nobody. You know, and then they want to come and try to tear you down. Y'all, when I get quiet like that, that means I want to slap a bitch in their face. But confidence. They wanted to take your confidence from you. They wanted to make you guys feel that you were not talented, that you did not have these intuitive gifts, you know, these God-given gifts, that you weren't. They wanted, oh, you you think you something special. You think you something whatever. You know what I'm saying? You think you hot stuff or whatever. They wanted to take that from They wanted to make you feel bad about yourself, you know? Some people wanted to, some people wanted to dog you out like that, too. For some people, if it was a sexual connection, this person, and I'm telling to you how I'm getting it right now, this person wanted to dog you out. That Just plain and simple, okay? Y'all know what dog out mean? Take out your calculator and figure it out. When it comes to sex, friends with benefits, they wanted to dog you out, okay? Period. They want to dog you out. And treat you like a smut and make you feel bad about yourself and make you lose your confidence, okay? They wanted to do that. This person is a whole demon walking around out here, right? Playing, play, praying on people who are filled with light and who are out here that's working with the collective conscious and trying to, uh, to help people, okay? For everybody, that's not going to be your story, you know what I'm saying? For, uh, for a lot of us, it might just be somebody, no, also maybe somebody who they wanted to do that to you. That's what they wanted to do. But your spirit team blocked that shit. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to come in and mess with you and fuck you up like this with this type of energy. Friends with benefits energy and make you feel like you were less than. But spirit blocked it. Blocked them. You saw right through them. You didn't give them a chance to, to hurt you. You didn't give them a chance to play that stupid little game. For those of you who did give them a chance, you know, my condolences. You know, to you or whatever, your confidence, whatever, you can get it back, gain it back, gain it back, take your power back, you know. It's up to you. Get your calculator out. Y'all, y'all, when y'all watch these videos, you should have your calculator to the side. You know what I'm saying? So when I tell you to use your calculator, and calculator is a metaphor for your brain, you know, use your own intuition your own intuition, your own spiritual guide, you know, your own knowledge, you feel me? Use your brain. Exercise that muscle, you know. Exercise your intuition as well. You know, friendship. This person wanted you. 
this person may have also tried to defame your character, may, may have tried to turn people against you. They don't want you to be friends with nobody. They don't want you to have nobody. They don't want you to have any kind of support in your life, okay? But I'm hearing it didn't work out because you still got friends. You still got people who ride for you. Your spirit team is still there with you 24-7, so you're never alone. And they, they're not going to defame your character because people have eyes of their own. And people have their own calculators and they know how to deduct. They know how to, like, you know, they know how to do this. You know what I'm saying? And see what the total is going to be. Yeah. Inspiration. This person wanted to take your essence from you. They wanted to take your inspiration from you because you guys are very, very, some of you guys are very, very creative. You know, you're creatives, you know. You're very, very guided by your intuition. And you get a lot of downloads. You get a lot of ideas that come to you through your intuition and from your spirit team so that you can implement it into uh, this uh, world right here, this physical realm. And they are also inspired by you as well, which is which is uh, which is weird, but you know, y'all know it happens like that sometimes. You know, they are inspired by you as well, and they envy that. They envy the effect that you have on other people. You know, they don't like it. You know, and they don't realize that we are all operating on free will, and they ain't gonna stop shit. Period. You can't stop nothing. You can't stop nobody from living their life if it's meant. Only they can stop themselves from doing that. So. And the, the way that they could stop you from doing that is if you, if, you, if you voluntarily give up your power, give your power to them. That's how they can stop you. But other than that, no, they can't stop you. They can, they can cast any kind of spells they want to cast. But if you, if you maintain your confidence and you maintain your boundaries and you don't give them your power, that shit ain't going to work, okay? Return to sender. Times 100. Fuck times 10. Times 100. Let's see what uh, what they may have been trying to do to you guys. What does this idiot try to do? Well, these idiots, because I feel there's more than one over here, okay? What are these idiots trying to do? See? Yo, didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell you? Y'all know when y'all parents were doing something wrong, you were little, whatever, and it was like, didn't I? And they got in your ear, and it was like, didn't I tell your ass to sit down? Yeah. Look, didn't I tell you guys about this? Power transference. You have either given up your personal power or someone has taken it from you. If you are under the effects of, for this group specifically, if you are under the effects of dark magic, you know, if you are under those effects, it's up to you to break that spell, okay? Because the way that this person implemented this work What's to take your power away from you? You had to willingly give this away. Somewhere along the line, you willingly believed in an illusion that was not, you believed in a reality and illusion that was not there. So all you guys got to do in this group is take your power back. Take your power back. It belongs to you, not them. If they're saying words, take your power back. You can choose what power goes on with which words. What do you get offended with? What do you laugh at? When people try to call you things, call you names, are you getting offended? Are you getting triggered? Or are you laughing at they dumbass? Me, I choose to laugh at they dumbass and then throw it back at them. Now, what's up? Let's talk about it. Let's, what's up? Protection. You are protected. I told you. Yo, I'm telling y'all. The fam, y'all know y'all in the right place because... I'm vibing off of your energy as well. You vibing off of my energy. We doing this thing together, okay? We are helping each other. You guys are protected. What they have planned for you will not work, all right? So from today forward, take your power back. Any, I don't care if you gave them a little, a tiny bit. If you gave them a lot, take it back. As simple as that, taking your power back. Tell them hoes to kick rocks, bare feet, kick rocks, bust the toes wide open. Tell them you want to see, you want a dramatic effect, bust the toes wide open. You want them to bust them toes open to the white me. I want bones sticking out and everything. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Now let's talk about it. What's up? Love us. <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention. Y'all know I'm not wrapped too tight. <laughs> but um, love attack. Someone is attacking your love relationships. They want to disrupt 
all areas of your love life, platonic and romantic. See what I told you? They don't want people to be your friends. They don't want nobody to like you. This sounds like somebody who you rejected. Y'all rejected somebody and they they got pissed. My 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 uh advice to them is get the fuck over it. Get over it. Get a life. Grow up. A pity party. Oh, they so sad. They little baby sad. They little baby baby sad. Pity party. Someone is going through some tough times and wants you to experience the same. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do it. We're not going to do it. Just because you're going through some shit, we got our own issues. You handle your shit and we handle ours. That's how this going to work over here. Yeah. You want to know why? Because we protect it. We're protected and we're taking our power back. Okay? We're not playing with you no more. Ain't nobody playing with you no more. None of these people. Don't let nobody play with you. Now, this your big bro talking right now. Don't let nobody play with you. You take your power back and you slam the door in their face. They can sit in and boo-hoo and woe is me. All the hell they want to do. Let them do that on their own. They need to learn how to man up, woman up, and get themselves out of their hole that they dug for themselves. Right. Some of you guys saw this person for who they truly, truly were and you cut them off. That's the hole they dug for themselves, because if they were on the up and up, if they were coming with the, the positivity, they wouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. So you can't cry because we don't care over here, over here. OK. I know some of y'all, uh, some people be in the comment section be like, oh, my God, I feel so sorry for them. They're getting their karma. Shut the hell up. How are you feeling sorry for somebody who's getting karma for stuff that they did? You know how stupid you sound? Get over it. Like, wake up. Stop being such a punk. Stop being such a punk ass. You, y'all, let me tell you something. We all are subject and we all do receive good and bad karma in our lives. Hell, I received a lot of bad karma too. And I quickly learned how to do that shit again. You feel me? That cause, that's a part of living life, you know? You do a lot of things when you're young and you're dumb, and then you learn and you grow up and you evolve. Some of us don't evolve. We're still teenagers. Yeah. Some of y'all probably... No, I'm kidding. But, um, so it's nothing. We should never be out here being like, I feel sorry for them that they're getting karma. They're getting back what they put out there. Are you, you know how stupid you sound? Like, you sound dumb as hell. Like, so you saying that, like, if a person went out there and broke people's hearts, broke into their house, stole their shit, did X, Y, Z, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ruined people's lives. And then when that shit turned back on them, you feel sorry for them. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Yo, light magic. Someone is using spell work with good intentions to help you. That's what I told you guys. We got each other's back over here and we are not letting these people. We not letting them. We ain't letting them through. Like, you can't get through. We blocking these hoes. We're protected. We're taking our power back, right? We're receiving all the love from ourselves, first and foremost. We're receiving love from people. Shit, platonic and romantic. If that's what you want, you feel me? You want a little sexy time, a little sexy time. You know, whatever you want, you know, that's what you receive. We're not, we're not sitting here going in the mud with nobody. Not if we don't re deserve it. We got to protect our energy and get these blessings. We ain't got time to go to nobody's pity party. Now, what kind of party we can go through, go through and have is a block party. That's the kind of party I like. I like a good old block party. That means that you pop shit or you come with your negative energy and I block you. Period. Goodbye. See you next lifetime. That kind of block party is what I like doing. You feel me? But yeah, we're protected. We got we got people in the collective conscious who is working to our our benefit, you know? We got people who are putting good and positive vibes out into the universe, out into the collective to help us as well. Oh man. That's what I'm saying. Don't get caught up. Don't let nobody drag you down to these low levels and get you vibing low. And now there you go. You vibing low and now you don't miss out on your blessings because you you run you you scrubbing the ground. You crawling on the ground with these people. No. No. Keep vibing high and keep living your life. Walk in love yourself. Love yourself. 
Because if you love yourself, you wouldn't allow these people to be coming in here bringing all this negativity into your life. I'm not about to sit with you and be, uh, woe is me. I ain't about to do that. I got too much shit to be doing in my life to be sitting there wasting my time on that BS. No. Now, I'm not saying that when you go through tough times, you can't vent and complain. Yeah, that's normal, natural. Yeah, you do that. But at the same time, you don't consciously make an effort and do this. Just because you're going through a tough time, you want people to experience the same thing. That's not how, that's not, that's not the move. That's not the move. That's not how you move out here, you know? That's how snakes move, you know? That's how snakes move. Now, what uh, advice do you guys need to hear right now? Mysteries, yeah. There's some things that is not meant for you to know, okay? Some things about this connection is not meant for you to know or whatever the hell is going on. Some of y'all might be asking why, 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 why? It ain't meant for you to know it. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. If you're sitting here after this reading and still asking why about something, Spirit is saying, move on. Move along, okay? You're protected. Move along. There's nothing to see here. This is like somebody got into an accident and motherfuckers holding up traffic, holding up the line, trying to bottleneck a rubber neck or whatever the hell it's called, uh, and turn around and see and try to see what's going on out in accidents. Like, you keep driving before you be the next one. With that foolishness, freedom, live your best life. Y'all see what I'm? Y'all see? Y'all see how these things are lining up with what I'm talking about? Spirit says, live your best life. You know, take advantage of the freedom that you have to live the best life that you can live for yourself. Make yourself happy. Don't look for nobody else to make you happy. Don't let nobody bring you into this pity party energy. You're free to go. Is what I'm hearing. You're free to go. You're not obligated. You're not chained to nobody who is in this vibration. You're free to go. You don't need to know why they going through whatever. You don't need to know why you feel, why you feel sorry, why you da da da. Why, 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 why? You don't need to know none of that. Just live your best life. This life that we have, every day that we live here, every second, every hour, is not promised to nobody. So why waste your time in this bullshit when you could be living your life, living your best life and take advantage of the time that you have here? Y'all hear me? Who hear me out there? Who hear what I'm talking about? I know there's going to be somebody out there who's thinking, y'all Y'all know what? another thing that I noticed that some people be doing? I will post something that is so beneficial for people, that is so uplifting and empowering. It'd be some people who just be like, they be staying up at night. I bet you they be staying up at night Googling and, and looking through their old encyclopedias for some kind of loophole to try to twist my words and make them into they negative. Y'all hoes need to get some sleep. Y'all hoes also need to get a life, okay? Y'all need to get a life because that's not normal. That's called demonic possessing. Y'all letting them demons use y'all. And what them demons... They sit back and do when I start clapping back on your ass and knocking you back in your lane. They sit back laughing at your dumb ass because you weak as hell. Too much confusion is unhealthy. If it causes you confusion, just like this pity party crap, if it causes you any confusion, block, block party, block party, confusing block party. That's why I say like in the comments, you come with a with confusing comment. I'm not. I'm one. It, depending on what kind of level of confusion it is, it could lead up to a block party because I'm not doing it. Sorry, I can't. I don't have no time for it. You know, I'm busy. I try. I got to spend time with my fam, you guys. You know what I'm saying? I got to do work. I got to do other stuff. Side hustle. Da, 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 da. I got to mow my lawn. You know what I'm saying? I got to do a lot of stuff. I ain't got time for the confusion. I won't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. No, no, no. We can't. We don't have no tolerance for that. But yeah, that's what I got for you guys in this group. If you like, I like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more readings like this. If this resonated with you, comment down in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all a little sleepy vibes right now because I'm, I'm a little sleepy. I'm going to go to sleep when I want to so nobody be in the comments talking about, you should go to sleep. Go to sleep. Shut the hell up. I'm going to sleep when I get ready. When I finish these videos. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. Kind of. Bye, y'all. Ciao. All right, if you guys have selected the, the magenta candle, number three, we are going to see 
who has evil sending you evil eye hating on you jealous of you all that good stuff well not good stuff but you know what i'm talking about all that stuff all that jazz who is hating on my group number three please Ooh, damn okay group number three y'all y'all started out with a bang with a bang with a bang with a bang yang yang not the bang yang y'all starting out with a bang a bang yang okay all right you want to come out come on out come on out who else wants to come out and play who else wants to ooh ooh number three god damn my condolences god damn number three I'm sorry. My condolences, you guys. You'll be okay. It'll work out for you. you you'll be all right. Let's see what we got here for you guys. <clears throat> all right, you guys. We have wealthy. Somebody who's wealthy. Yeah. Y'all know I met a lot of wealthy people in my life, right? And boy, I met some wealthy people that they be on some weird shit. When I tell you weird stuff, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. This person is wealthy. I feel like they're conceited with it, too. You know, they feel like they're wealth. And that's why I... <sighs> A certain group of people came to my mind when I um saw that wealthy. It's like these people, whoever this person is... If it's people, a person, whoever the hell it is, get out your own calculator and you deduct if it matches, if it resonates, and you calculate it out to see how it applies. But, um, yeah, these motherfuckers, they, they think that they can do what they want to do to you and they, they don't have any, like, they don't have any, what do you call it, have to have to hold themselves accountable for their actions. They can just do what they want to do regardless if it's, if it's disrespectful, hurtful, whatever. They do it. Because they feel like they're above the law. That's the whole vibe that I'm getting with this person. Look, look what I'm saying. Look, look, abuser. This is a whole abuser. This is somebody who might even put their hands on you. I'm hearing sexual abuse, sexual assault as well for some people. Mm hmm. And this person feels that they can get away with it because they got the coins or they got some sort of power in their life. Or they got they got some sort of they feel like they got some sort of authority, you know? It's somebody who abuses. For some of you guys, it might be somebody that you work with. It might be your boss or some somebody like that. Somebody who's in a, a leadership position or a management position at work who abuses their authority, abuses, abuses their power. Okay? This is somebody who's spying on you on top of that, right? They're trying to get in your business, trying to watch you, see what you're doing. They could be watching your social media if you're online. They could be watching you from outside your house right now while I'm talking to you. No, I'm just playing. Hopefully they're not. But yeah, this person could be spying on you through people as well. They could be asking people things about you, right? They could have some people who are working for them that, why am I getting weird stuff? Like, I'm hearing like paying somebody to watch you, you know, which super weird, super weird vibes from this one. Paying somebody to watch you. Super, super weird, okay? I'm going to keep it moving. A male energy. This could be a female as well, but this is this person is very, very dominant uh and their energy right this person uses a lot of strong masculine energy whether they're male or female i'm getting the whole kind of fatal attraction kind of vibes you know what i'm saying what i say goes i'm the boss i'm the don dada you know what i'm saying i'm the diva or whatever weird stuff power tripping right for some of y'all this is a friend you know that might be doing all this a friend or someone who comes off as a, excuse me, somebody who comes off as a, your friend. <laughs> Look what came out right behind that frenemy. Y'all know what I say? What a frenemy is. A frenemy is no friend of me. You feel me? You're not a friend of me. You feel me? That's what a frenemy is. You're not a friend of me. A frenemy. That's your friend, but that's your enemy at the same time, right? This person could be a witch or warlock that could do uh, black magic. Mm. They want to have their way. They're very manipulative. Man manipulative. I can say the word. Throw chakra energy going on as well. They may want to silence you. They may don't. They may not want me to say what I'm saying right now. But I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to talk my shit. I'm still going to say what I want to say. Period. Ain't nobody going to stop me from doing nothing. What you talking about? Let's talk about it. 
But yo, the witch or warlock there of uh, this person is giving me manipulative. I'm not saying that all witches and warlocks are manipulative or whatever, but this person, that's the vibes that I'm getting, you know? Because you want to know how I come up with that? Because I'm using my calculator right now. Yo, apologize. They may always do things that they always do things, do messed up things to you that they have to end up apologizing for, you know? They can never, I'm hearing, never get it right. Like, you always doing something. You're always doing the most. Like, you didn't even have to do X, Y, Z. You didn't even have to treat me like that. You didn't even have to say that. You didn't even have to do that, you know? Always doing something because they feel like this person, there's, there's a disconnect with this person in their conscious, okay? Um... I feel like this, when this person does things, when they apologize, they're not apologizing because they're truly sorry. They're apologizing just to get over that, like, whatever issue that y'all got going on at the time. That's a, that's a, there's a difference between you, you feel remorse for the shit that you're doing or that you just feel like you're just saying what you got to say so you can get back in to keep abusing the person. Y'all got to be careful. This person could have Pisces in their chart. Doesn't necessarily have to be. You can have it in yours. They could be gay or bisexual. All right. Swing both ways. I'm hearing somebody who, uh, if they're involved in heterosexual uh, relationships, they also, you know, they keep you and they keep other people on the side as well. They could be messing with all y'all at the same time. Because they feel like they could do that, you know. There's a lot of people that they hang around. I'm hearing for some of you guys. This person has a lot of yes men and yes girl, do girl, do, do men, whatever the fuck you call it, around them. Like people who just agree with everything they do and they say, you know, because of their power, because of their wealth, you know. People might like the fact that they drive a nice car, you know, or they make this amount of money or they have this amount of money. And people allow them to get away with a lot of stuff. And they have people around them who, who enable them to, to do these things as well. See, a silencer. This person does things to you, but they don't want you to talk about it to other people. So this person comes off one way to the public. Behind closed doors, they treat you like shit, and then they don't want you to talk about it, right? They try to pacify. They may buy you gifts. They may do things for you. They may give you money. You know what I'm saying? Or they may come and apologize, give you a fake-ass apology, and then you believe it, and then you let them back in, and they come in and they do bop your ass over the head again, or abuse you in some other kind of way again. For some of y'all, this shot ex, okay? It could be an ex-friend, ex-frenemy, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, an ex. See what I'm saying? This person gives you gifts. For some of y'all, they give you things, you know, to pacify you, you know. They be like, oh, don't be mad no more. I did X, Y, Z. I broke your heart. I bopped you over your head. Um, I went out and had a baby, you know, got somebody pregnant. I did, da 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 I gave you an STD, da 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 whatever. But let me get you this gift right here, and it's going to pacify everything. And it's going to be my apology. And after I do this, everything's going to be okay, and you're going to come back, and you're going to forgive me. Yeah, period. Because this person out here, this person is reckless as hell. This is like that spoiled uh, millionaire's kid. Like, they got rich parents or, you know, parents that spoil them. They might not even be rich, but, like, the parents just give them everything that they, they want. And they just never learn responsibility. You know, never learn to be accountable because their parents never held them accountable for the shit that they did growing up, you know? Spoiled brat kind of vibes. This person is stalking you guys as well on top of that, right? somebody that is stalking you guys spy we got spying yeah spying on you and stalking you too wonderful awesome let's see what they're trying to stop and what they're not stopping okay what is this person trying to stop for my group number three what are they trying to stop what for some of y'all they're trying to stop your bag okay because we got career in the middle some of y'all, they're trying to stop your bag. They're trying to stop you from evolving and excelling, making money, being... Some of you guys, they don't want you to be self-reliant, okay? They want you to depend on them. Transformation. They don't want y'all to transform and glow up, okay? They used to, yeah, they want y'all to stay in a weak position. They want you guys to be beneath them, 
right? They want them to be the top. They want to be the top dog and you to be the one on the bottom, you know, coming to them for help. Not standing on your own two feet, depending on them for things that you need, you know, depending on them for emotional and moral support. Feeling like you need to have them. This person has this kind of way about themselves, too, for some of you guys, that to where they they get into a person's head and they make them feel that they that they they that they need them in their lives. That they can't do without them. You know, it's kind of like I'm going to come into your life. I'm going to be like I'm that supporter to you. I'm going to get you hooked on me in whatever kind of way. And then I'm going to take it from you and abuse you because now I got le to use that as leverage over you. Grieving. Yeah. This person wants you to stay in a... This person just wants you to be sad. This person... I feel for some of you guys, if you walked away from this person, you giving out the vibe to this person that you don't care, that you don't give a fuck, that you've gotten over it. But this person wants you to be... Wants you to... If you are not with them, they want you to feel sorry that you're not with them. They want you to be at home crying, staring at the ceiling, not being able to go to sleep, having a drink to go to sleep. They want you to be tore up out here over them, you know? Justice. This person did not want you to stand up for yourself, okay? They don't want y'all to have a backbone. They don't want y'all to have a they don't want you to stand up for yourself. They don't want you to have a voice. They don't want you to speak up. They don't want you to say the truth about them. They don't want you to reveal things to other people about them that they've been doing to you behind closed doors that other people might not know about. And they don't want to be held accountable for the shit that they did to you, okay? They don't want you to speak up on it. They don't want you to stand up for yourself and have healthy boundaries for yourself. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's what you've done. And they don't like that. For some of y'all, y'all going through the process right now. You know, you may be in the crystallist stage right now. And you may be, be uh, getting ready to, to transform into this butterfly, you know, in your, in your life, okay? Metaphorically, metaphorically speaking, we got another butterfly which talks about a transformation. They don't want you to find yourself, you know? They wanted you to... To be one of their disciples. That is so creepy. I'm getting Jim Jones vibe. You know, the disciples and stuff like that. You know, like they wanted you to drink the Kool-Aid. They want you to be up under them. They want you to control you, to manipulate you. They don't want you to find yourself. They don't want you to find your own identity for yourself, who you are, so that you can stand on your own two feet and you march to the beat of your own drum and you follow your own heart. They didn't want you to do that. And that's what you guys are doing. And they don't like it. How dare you stand up for yourself? How dare you have your own personality, your own likes, and your own dislikes? How dare you? Let's see what they, uh, what other energy they sending towards you with the evil eye deck. What energies are they sending towards my group number three, please? What energies are they sending towards my group number three, please? What energies are they sending towards my group number three? Uh, we got Marine Kingdom. Someone is making offerings to Marine Spirits to gain power against you. Yeah. These people are making sacrifices. I don't know what the hell they're doing. But they're offering up to the Marine Spirits because they want to have power over you. They want to control you. They want to continue to be able to ma manipulate you. Whether it is physically, emotionally, they want control over you. Manifesting. Someone is trying to manifest you into their life. Damn. So if y'all if y'all ran away, I'm hearing some of y'all ran away from this person. If you shut this person out, block them any kind of way, they're trying to manifest you back into their lives. They want you back in your place next to them or behind them or whatever how it works. How, how, however it works. Reversal magic. Someone who has done magic work on you is now working to reverse the magic to right or wrong. Yeah. So I feel like this person... Uh, this person started off trying to control you in a negative, in a sinister kind of way with this magic. Oh, love death came out again. We're going to take it. So they try to control you with that magic. And I feel that for some of these people, it started backfiring on them, you know, or they came to some sort of realization. No, I really want this person in my life in some twisted, sick, twisted, sick kind of way. I don't know. Uh, y'all look if I was you I wouldn't try to go back and see what it is but you grown you do what you want to do I can't tell you how to live your life you have to use your own calculator and see how to live your own life you feel me but 
Yeah, they thought about it. And it's like, yo, I'm not going to use this method. I'm going to just use this method and manifest them back into my life. So they're trying to reverse this negative. Uh, anything they was doing negative, they're trying to reverse it. See, look, we got spying again. This person is using divination. They go and get readings. Are they doing readings themselves to try to spy on you and see what you're doing and try to find ways into your life, a find a way to manifest you back into their life, okay? Mirror magic. Someone envies you and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror Im image of you. You got something that they want, you know? For some of you guys, this is someone that you you got something that they want. There's something about you. You're je ne sais quoi. You know, whatever you got going on, popping for yourself. They want that. They want that thing. And I feel for a lot of people, that's why they wanted you in their life. That's why they wanted you underneath them. Because in a way, them having you around them could transfer for them some of your power over to them. Weird, huh? Love theft magic. Someone is doing magic work or spell work to take your love from you. I feel for this person. This person does not want you to be connected to nobody. This is a me, 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 your mind, your mind. That's what I keep hearing. I'm hearing your mind. You're not, you're not nobody else's, and they don't want you to be with nobody else, whether it is a friend or whether it is a lover. They don't want you to be with nobody else, okay? They want you to be their only friend, are they? They want you to be their only man or want be your, their only woman, you know? Power transference, yeah. Some of you guys... Some of you guys have willingly given this person your power. You've willingly taken or accepted a subservient role within this person's life, which gave them your authorization to have this power over you at some point. Okay? Something that you may have done, some sort of transfer, some sort of moment I'm hearing that took place. And that is where some significant moment you might not even be... Uh, cognizant of it. You might not even remember it, or you might not have even realized what was going on. But at some point in time, there was something that happened between you two. And this person knew exactly what they were doing. At that key moment, they took advantage of you, and that's when that power, that transference took place. Now I'm hearing, take your shit back, because it's yours. It's not theirs. Take your power back, okay? Let me pull um, a soul tribe message for you guys. Ooh. I'm going to have to ask my spirit team to protect me from these crazy motherfuckers. Protect me. Allow others to love you. Yeah. Spirit is saying allow people to love you. You know what I'm saying? And be able to know what love is. You need to know what love is and, and allow yourself to receive it. Because I'm hearing this ain't love. Whatever you experience with this person, this shit ain't love. It's telling you to get back on track and focus, okay? Get back on track and focus. Let me pull. Yep, I just got a message too. A good message. Awesome. Thank you so much. But yo, get back on track and focus is it one that's really st standing out right now. Get back on track and focus. Let's get you one of these messages. Okay. Yeah. Get back on track and focus. It's telling you to express your... Free yourself from this. Well, who got this? Number two? I think number two got this. Number two. Did number two get this? I think so. Free yourself. It says live your best life. Take your... Excuse me. Take your power back. This power transference. Take it back. Reverse it. Like when you're playing Uno, you reverse it. You know what I'm saying? Reverse it. Get your power back. This person is already doing reversal magic. So you go and do your part and you reverse it. You reverse, take your power back from this person and you express your freedom. Free yourself from anything that holds you down or tries to uh, suffocate you or manipulate or control you. Live your best life, okay? Nobody's promised tomorrow. So you might as well live your best life today and don't let nobody tell you what the hell to do. You do what you want to do, okay? As long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else. But that's what I got for you guys for this group. Um, much love and light to everybody out there. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more readings. Um, if this resonated with you, comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it, okay? Thank you guys so much. Take care. Much aloha. Aloha. All this stuff. Fafitai. Telelava. Bye. Ciao.